The other thing about string theory, you know, it, it, it's actually really, how many of you have heard of William Lane Craig? He's a famous apologist. Now, I'm kind of with, with uh, Bill Craig on this. And that Craig has done a lot of work showing that there are significant theological problems with God being outside of time. And, and that actually is a serious debate within evangelical circles. I- illustration. If all things that, if, if God knows no difference between the past, the present, and the future, in other words, if he is divorced from time, that those concepts don't apply to him, past, present, and future, how can we, how can we take serious things in Scripture like God being moved emotionally? by someone's prayer or someone's fear of something in the future or someone's pain from something that occurred in the past. Because if God looks at this pained person's life and doesn't make any distinction between what happened to them, what's happening to them, and the glory that awaits them as a believer, how can he be troubled and be sympathetic with what this person's going through? Because those things require time. You know, so and again, that, that's one sort of small illustration. But what what Craig's view is, and I, I would share this perspective, is that at at one time, pardon the pun, God was outside of time. But when God chose to create, He chose to participate within time. He is not bound to it. He could leave it if He wants to, but He is nevertheless in time with us as created beings, and so. Maybe, maybe there's an issue of dimensionality because string theory requires there to be multiple dimensions. That might be a, a reasonable analogy as to how to parse that, but I would, I would frame it a little different because, again, I'm, I, think he's, I think he has a good, good view of that.